Hello, welcome to our Fabric Pumpkin event. Um, in your kit, you should have some pre-cut fabric circles, your needle and thread, some pipe cleaners, and then some fake leaves. You might want to get some scissors, a needle threader if you need some help threading needles, and a hot glue gun is optional. So first off, I'm going to thread my needle. And tie a knot at the end so it has something to catch to. I'm going to start with our first 4 inch circle. That's our smallest one we have. And then I'm going to fold it in about one eighth of an inch and I'm just going to sew into it. So we're going to do a running stitch, which you just kind of stick in and you can pull it out. Now to make it go faster, you're just going to stack some of it on there. And you can do this after you kind of get used to doing running stitch. You can practice the other way first, and then I can pull. We're just going to go all the way around the outside of this circle. And it doesn't have to be perfect spacing between each stitch. Pumpkins are not perfect. You're going to end up with something that looks like this. Um, this is done with a little bit more smaller stitches. If you want bigger ones of these spaces, you'll just do bigger stitches. And you're going to do this for all of the circles except for the last one, which is our 5 inch one, the second two smallest one and that's because we're going to put the pipe cleaner in there so we'll need some space before we tie it off so when you get to the end you're just going to pull it tight be careful not to break your yarn or thread and then we can fluff it out a bit There we go, and I'm just going to make a stitch in it so that I can grab that and take and make a knot. And then I'm just going to stitch in two to kind of hide my tail. And so, so we got our first one done. Now on to our next size. It's a six inch circle. And we're just going to do the exact same thing. And if you have one of the fabrics that isn't double sided, you'll want to make sure that you're folding in towards the wrong side of the fabric. That way your pretty image is on the outside. And in your kit you have supplies to make two pumpkins. You can decide to make one fully just one pattern or you can change them up like I'm doing here. I've got my two different fabrics alternated.
and just keep working all the way around until I reach that end. And I'm gonna pull it tight, fluff it out, continue pulling it tight. Make a stitch so I can make a knot and finish that off. I'm gonna hide my tail in there and trim the thread. So there's our next one. Now we're at the seven inch circle. This is our biggest circle we have. And we're just going to do the exact same thing we've done with all the rest of them. Exact same thing. And our last circle, done this exact same way, except we're not gonna tie it off right away. And we're actually gonna re-loosen that. And now it's time for our pipe cleaner. So I take and make a circle here with the pipe cleaner and I'm just gonna twist it here so you kind of make like a halo you would do for a costume and then you stick that in there and now you can pull your thread tight and tie it off. our beginning of our pumpkin. Next you'll want to put holes in the bottom of these. So you can take your scissors and just kind of poke a hole with that. Be careful not to hurt yourself. You can also just try to snip a little. I also found another useful tool for this is just using a knitting needle. So you could also do that. And then you'll stack it. This was our five. These are our sixes that were the same size. You'll do a six. You'll do the biggest one, which was a seven. We'll do a new, another one of the same size ones. And then you'll do the smallest. That one's giving me a little trouble. Go back and snip some. So there is our pumpkin. It kind of looks like that. Now to get your stem, I just folded it to the size that I want it to be and then I wrapped 
the rest of the pipe cleaner around, kind of building up that stem shape. And you can bend it a little, you can leave it straight. I like to bend mine a little, just like that. We got a fun top to it. And this is where I had the optional glue gun. Um, or you can just do what I did with my other pumpkins and just tuck a leaf in or two. They stay pretty good. Or you can glue it in to make it a little bit more permanent. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Uh, we do have upcoming on December 13th our String of Lights crochet make along. So we'll be making these. We'll probably only get one done that night, but I will leave you with the information on how to do the rest of it. Uh, and we will have these books available to check out in the library. There is a limited number of these, but it is also available on Hoopla, uh, which you can do on demand, and there are a lot of copies of it that way. Um, and that just gives the instructions on how to do it that we'll be following that night. So you can register at C-B-O-L-L-E-Y uh, at defiancelibrary.org or you can call 419-782-1456 extension 1108 and register that way. Uh, you can also contact those number and email if you are interested in using any of our makerspace equipment we have a silhouette cameo we've got a button maker we've got a 3d printer we've got a laser etcher and all kinds of other fun goodies so thank you for joining us and good luck